to share with you sequence, a uh, short sequence this time that is very good for the liver. The liver is a very important part of our system and it has to do with removing toxins from the blood. It has many, many jobs that the liver does. And in the spring, this is the active organ in the spring, so we really want to do a lot of practices. Uh, most of the practices for uh, in Qigong for liver has to do a lot with the rib cage, where the liver is located underneath the rib cage. And there's a lot of twisting and moving the rib cage in different ways. One way to uh, incorporate breathing that is very good to flush toxins out of the liver is just to put the hands, just do it with me, just put your hands on the rib cage like so, and just breathe and try to inflate the rib cage. And exhale, see that the hands coming closer to them to one it one another. So as you inhale, you inflate the rib cage. As you exhale, the hands come closer to each other. So this movement, let's do a few breaths like that. This movement would help with stimulating the liver. Yeah, the breath by itself, just breathing can really help massaging the internal organs. So the movement today are going to be all about twisting and undulating. Undulating movements are calming the mind. Calming the mind is also releasing stress and the liver governs stress in the body. So if the liver chi is too agitated, yeah, we are stressed out. So the movements in the spring would be a lot of undulation, a lot of joint movement. Nice. So now you feel the, the rib cage a little more. Now you understand what it feels to breathe into the rib cage. So let's take the next, uh, the next practice. Uh, we'll just put the hands together like so in a prayer position. Actually, before we go to this practice, let's review also how to breathe into the back of the rib cage and the front of the rib cage. So we breathe into the side and let's put the palms together. Now press the knuckles on the sternum and press the sternum backwards. So you're really just pressing the sternum backwards. What would happen as a consequence that you're going to concave, you'll put more space between the shoulder blades. Try to breathe to the area between the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, just open the palms and make the shoulder blade meet at the back. So as we bring the palms closer together, we press the sternum, we inhale. And this is where everybody holds a lot of stress and tension between the shoulder blades, right? When you go to a massage therapist, right? This is where all the, knuck, the nuts are, all the blocked energy. So let's breathe into the back of the rib cage and exhale. Let's do it a few more times. Inhale, that will help with the next movement. Just try to feel when you press in, you enlarge that area. The upper back. You can breathe and then exhale. And let the shoulder blade meet. Now let's change it. Shoulders down, palms erected. Shoulder blades together. Inhale and exhale. Exhale and, and still concave the upper back. So inhale. And as you bring the palm, exhale now. And empty the lungs. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Shoulders down. Expand the chest. Exhale. Now keep the palms together. Now lift one elbow. And as you lift one elbow, you inhale to the side of the rib cage. And you make the figure eight with your hands. So when you go up with the arm, with the palms, the elbow, the elbow comes up. You feel when the elbow comes up, you can actually breathe into the side and the back of the rib cage. So let's just do this rib cage breathing. Very good for the liver. This is a dragon movement. 
the figure eight. When you go up the figure eight, you inhale and down and relax the tailbone, relax the spine and let everything undulate here. Everything relax. So you can bend the knees a little bit. Shoulders relaxed. Come up and inhale. Exhale. Angulating motions would massage and lubricate the, the joints, the small joints between the ribcage and the spine. Increase synovial fluids in the joints, the small joints, yeah? In between the ribcage and the spine. Inhale in from the nose, out through the mouth. Relax the tailbone, relax the spine. Let everything kind of get softened, very malleable. Like the body's made out of clay with almost no bones. It's just very soft and liquid like. There's a little bit of a shift of the weight even between the legs, just a minor. And then come up, lengthen all the spine, breathe into the rib cage, and then exhale, come back down. And from here, let's do a flow movement called swimming snake. The snake and the dragons are the two animals that are associated with opening and connecting with liver chi. So it's also about twisting. This movement is very good for the vagus nerve, vagus nerve. <laughs> The breathing here is just organic and normal. The movement comes from the hips and the waist. You see that I'm moving the hip forward. This hip is moving forward. This hands come forward. The other movement. Bring the hands by the rib cage. Guided the movement from the hips. Inhale and exhale through the nose, tonifying your chi, amplifying your chi, strengthening it. The movement is very relaxed, it's very circular. See how the hip connects with the movement. Let's close this one. 
palms down, inhale up, and exhale down. Gather the chi in the Dantian. Let's do it twice more. Inhale, connect with the sky, the heavenly energy. Wash the body with it. Cleanse and clear all the way to the earth and keep some of this energy in the Dantian. Let's bring both hands onto the Dantian. Think about the space between the navel and the spine as your eyes close. Breathe into this area. Feel a sense of peace and relaxation after this, uh, this sequence. A bit more spaciousness in the rib cage in the joints of the upper body. Continue this uh, Dantian meditation for as long as you like. Focusing on the lower abdomen would really strengthen your chi and remove tension from the mind and the heart. When you're finished, you can open your hands, palm facing the front, the eyes. Thank you guys so much for joining me from this beautiful place. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell so you're getting notified for any more, any new video I'm posting. Thank you so much.